A uh, very funny comic. Please give it up for uh, for Lena Anderson. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I know your first and last names if I checked you in, so you have to laugh. That's, that's a rule. Um, yeah. Super happy to be here. I'm a really happy person because I'm in therapy. You guys in therapy? Yeah, it's amazing. I think therapy should be more expensive. Yeah. That information just like shouldn't be freely accessible. I've been learning so many great things. Uh, I learned about this thing called weaponized incompetence. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah, I got a couple nods to the girls in the front row. Yeah, weaponized incompetence. Okay, here is the free trial version of therapy, what you learn. Weaponized incompetence is where you pretend to be really bad at something, and then you don't have to do it anymore. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> you just have to use teeth one time. <laughs> and they'll never ask again. <laughs> The secret to happiness. Um, no, 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 no. I joke, I joke. I'm like really good with men. Um, I like that one talked to me recently, um, and it was telling me, um, it was telling me it wanted to take Dogecoin to the moon, which is very silly. It's an Earth concept, right? I really hope there's no Reddit on Mars. Um, yeah, I think space is very odd. Um, because I've only ever met cryptocurrency guys that want to go to space. It's never astrology girls. <laughs> we could have a 13th human. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I think anyone who wants to go to space is definitely an only child, though. It takes three days to go to the moon. Do you guys know this? That's six days, plus maybe one for the actual destination, of being trapped in a small vehicle other people. If you've ever had siblings, <laughs> not a good idea. Um, yeah. I think a prerequisite to becoming an astronaut is you should have to take a mega bus across the country. <laughs> yeah, it shows strength. I can also guarantee you that shitting in a public bathroom at 80 miles per hour is going to be just as memorable as the moon. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, all about me, um, I have a job. You guys have jobs? Yeah, we love jobs. We've got some college students. I don't know. Jobs are cool. Um, I'll, I have one. Um, I have a really cool job. I sit alone in my bedroom. And I webcam. Yeah. yeah. With a group of middle-aged men. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know. I have a bad crop, though. My middle-aged men just want me to do things like Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> Very confusing. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm feeling a little frisky, I'll do a pivot table. <laughs> Spice things up. Um, yeah, no. I have been working from home for so long, it just feels like I'm playing The Sims at this point. <laughs> just like none of the money cheat codes are woohooing. Uh, do you guys ever like go on the computer and just like murder your Sims in really horrible ways? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when my boss asks me to circle back and like, do a deep dive, uh, I want to put him in the pool with the no ladder. <laughs> Thank you. Please let him know I do that joke. I would like to get fired. You, you, get, you get three months severance. Um, yeah, I know. Um, they are trying at work, though. They're trying to make me realize that my coworkers are real human beings. Um, we did a team building activity recently at work. We did a virtual escape room. Yeah. Um, have you guys ever been on a Zoom call? <laughs> Every single one of those fuckers is a virtual escape room. <laughs> you gotta figure out the right combination of signs and magic code words, you get to leave. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time. Um, I have sorority girl energy a little bit, but uh, I have a get out of jail free card. I'm actually from Sweden, um, which is the best white country to come from because we minded our own business. <laughs> uh, the only like international tipple we've ever had is when we kidnapped ASAP Rocky for a little bit. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Um, we let him go though, because like Donald Trump got involved. Um, not because we respect America. Um, the only thing worse than jail is for Trump to go on the international news and say you guys are pals. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, it's been a tough time here. Uh, Capital riots. Um, actually, amazing day for me. My entire family called me. 
Uh, they wanted to make sure I was okay. Better than all of my birthdays. Yeah, no, um, they were worried that during my time in America, I would have become the wrong kind of white person. <laughs> yeah. Um, they didn't think I was a Trump supporter. Um, they thought I might be the kind of white person who's comfortable jogging during civil unrest. <laughs> I did start working out during the pandemic, and I'm so glad that I was so invested in my fitness journey to be out in January. <laughs> I don't know. I was not at the Capitol riots, um, but we all know there was a group like George Towners and Lululemon. I took a really hard choice that day. <laughs> the apple rings or the stay home order. <laughs> all right, I've been Lena Anderson. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night.